There are great updates about the status of Tesla Giga Shanghai's opening. Friends, I'm going to bring you all the details in this report. Tesla brings back workers to Giga Shanghai, but delayed production restart by a day. But apparently some production has already started today. Tesla also is providing stipend, meals and mattresses to workers as Giga Shanghai adapts to closed loop system. And in this report, I'm going to explain what it means. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time plus subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage tesla workers are finally starting to return to gigafactory shanghai after three weeks of being shut down but the production restart has again been delayed by a day the situation remains difficult in shanghai amid the severe lockdown in shanghai to attempt to prevent the spread of this virus shanghai has seen a rise of this virus infection over the last month and in an attempt to curb the growth the authorities implemented some drastic lockdown measures that have been in place for weeks now those measures have been affecting many businesses including tesla's critical gigafactory in the giant chinese city of shanghai the car maker had to shut down the plant on march 28 look it's been almost 20 days march 28 due to the difficult securing uh, difficult is securing workers and the supply of the components from suppliers also affected by the measures. Tesla was supposed to restart production of its electric vehicle at, uh, vehicles at the next weekend, but it couldn't make it work. The uh, uh, automaker was expected to once again attempt to restart of production during the week, but it couldn't make it work again. The second phase of the two-phase CD lockdown was supposed to end on April 7, but the authorities have extended it indefinitely amid continued spread despite the measures in place. Last week, we learned that Tesla was now aiming to reopen Gigafactory Shanghai on April 18 after a three-week shutdown. That means today. Today, the company indeed started to bring back workers to the plant, but Reuters reports that the plan to restart production of its electric vehicles at Giga Shanghai has been delayed led to tomorrow. Here's what Reuters says. Tesla had hoped to start one production shift on Monday, but was now looking to do so on Tuesday, sources said, with one citing a supplier's logistical snack for the day. More difficulties are expected for Gigafactory Shanghai in the coming weeks as Tesla and suppliers slowly start to ramp up production, starting with just one shift in Tesla's case. As for the authorities, they are starting to talk about easing the lockdown measures. I mean, major complaints about citizens running out of food and other supplies. At a production capacity of around 2,000 vehicles per day, Tesla is expected to have missed out already an, on over 40,000 vehicles this quarter, and it could see production down by tens of thousands more during the ramp up. In fact, at Gigafactory Berlin, the production rate is about um, 300 vehicles uh, per week. Now, Tesla appears to have a clear-cut plan to ensure that its workers are safe at e as it resumes operations at Gigafactory Shanghai. As per individual families with the matter and memo retrieved and viewed by Bloomberg, Tesla China would be adopting a closed-loop system in Gigafactory Shanghai. This means that the company would be boarding its workers to ensure that the facility remains operational. Look at this, boarding its workers. According to the publication sources, each worker at Gigafactory Shanghai would be provided a sleeping bag, a mattress, and a three meals a day. Workers would be sleeping on the factory floor in a designed area for now, though spaces for showering and entertainment are coming. Tesla would also be giving its workers a daily stipend of about 400 yuan, which is about $63, though the exact amount will be dependent on a person's position in the company. Tesla has reportedly informed employees on Friday to prepare for a closed 
loop system this week to help employees bypass restrictions on residential compounds in Shanghai. Tesla China reportedly issued a special certificate for workers who were on call. The company also arranged the buses to shuttle workers to the facility. It should be noted that only Tesla China staff who were residing in the lowest risk residential compounds in Shanghai and those who have completed two shots of the vaccine would be allowed to resume to work. The memo retried by Bloomberg noted that these workers would be joining about 400 employees who are already in the Giga Shanghai facility. The last batch of closed loop workers at Giga Factory Shanghai is expected to work in the facility through May 1 through this is, though this is subject to changes depending on the city's uh, restrictions. The workers who would be temporarily living in Giga Shanghai would reportedly be working 12 hours per day, six days straight with one day off. Prior to the current shutdown, Giga Shanghai was operating 24-7 using three shifts of workers. Factory workers would typically work four days on and then take two days off according to individuals familiar uh, with the matter. While Gigafactory Shanghai would be resuming production, however, ramping the facility back to its previous output levels would likely take some time. So what do you think about all of these developments, friends, at Gigafactory Shanghai? Let me know your thoughts. I think this is very good that Tesla is resuming its operations at Gigafactory Shanghai because we are seeing some progress in this regard because it's important that Tesla kind of catches up on the lost time at Gigafactory Shanghai uh, because like I said Tesla already may have missed out on about 40,000 vehicles that's a lot for this quarter um, but also I don't think you know uh, what do you think I mean I was going to say that People probably are not buying cars right now because they can't even get out of house. They can't even buy food because, as I reported from this, that apparently their people need to ease. Uh, China may need to ease the restrictions so people can get out and buy food for their children, for their families. And I don't know how Tesla sales would have been in any case. But you know, Tesla has no plan. Uh, uh, problem of sales in other parts of the world, including China. So things should be going better once. Uh, Giga Factory Shanghai uh, starts operating. What is interesting is Tesla's creativity of building a way like this closed loop operations. Look, remember last year within a ten, week or 10 days, Tesla quickly came out with specific plans to operate Giga Factory Shanghai. And after a closed, uh, closed down, shutdown, they started operating it immediately, opened it up. Um, people coming and sleeping in Giga Factory Shanghai. This reminds me the day when Elon Musk was sleeping in his factory at, at nights, you know, to uh, to improve the production is going smoothly and the problems are being solved immediately. And uh, now people are following him in that regard, following uh, their CEO and uh, ensuring that production is going smoothly. And it's good because they can be paid. They're provided three meals a day, $63 uh, stipend in addition to their salaries, as well as uh, mattresses and so on. Although there are some difficulties with showers. All good. What do you think, friends? Uh, in the meantime, Tesla will only produce around 30,000 vehicles in the new Giga Berlin factory in Grünheide, as I reported earlier today. Please check out that story. It's very interesting. You can see how it divides bears and bulls. And bulls. Um, this is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Please give us thumbs up. And uh, I would appreciate your subscription because it helps us to get uh, to our goal of 100,000 subscribers. Have a great day. Peace be to you and to the world. God bless you, everyone. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Report.